Hi everyone. So in a previous video where I was making my garage opener with Bluetooth video up here, I said that I wasn't able to make it work with a 12 volt relay because I was having issues with the relay. And the issue back then was that since this is not an optically isolated relay, I didn't have an auto isolator, so I could run and control this from 12 volts. So at the time it got me thinking, how we can do that in situations where we don't have access to an optocoupler. So the idea for this video is that I try and build an optocoupler of my own using an LED and light dependable resistor. An LDR or a light dependent resistor is a device that changes its resistance based on the amount of light that it comes through. So when it's dark, this goes into the mega ohms in terms of resistance and when a strong light shines on it it goes directly to short circuit so the plan is that we're gonna use this to create a rudimentary optocoupler where by controlling this led we're gonna control the resistance of the ldr and then with that control the the relay being able to experiment with a project like this one is greatly possible thanks to the sponsor of this video, which is Altium Designer and its component search engine Octopart. Octopart is a real-time part selection assistant and search engine that is used as a primary source for component data in Altium Designer and Altium 365. Octopart gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets and CAD models right in the design environment so you can focus on your designs. With the built-in stock level tracking, you can always be one step ahead of the current supply risk and get automated notifications for low stock levels. Keep your design momentum going by having the right component info handy in the design environment and trust Octopart to recommend the best components to fit your criteria so you can focus on problem solving and creative thinking. Visit the link in the video description to get your Altium Designer free trial along with a free subscription to Altium 365 and visit octopart.com to find the right components for your next project. And to show you how an LDR works, I have one connected here on the breadboard that is connected to the multimeter. If I cover it, you'll see that the resistance goes up and the darker it gets, the higher the resistance it goes. If it's in a fully dark place, it should go up to like one or two mega ohms, depending on the LDR. But when I release it, the resistance goes down. And if I try to move this closer to the light, you'll see that the resistance goes way down. So almost to short circuit because there's some resistance now in the leads. And if I go down, it increases the resistance. And as I cover it, it increases the resistance even more. So to construct the optocoupler, I'm gonna use heat shrink sleeving. Uh, to encase both the LDR and the LED and we'll see how it goes. And here is the end result. I've crimped the heat shrink tubing around so no light can enter. And because I only had yellow uh, heat shrink sleeving, it turns out that uh, some light was able to go through that uh, sleeving. So I've added a layer of electrical tape on top of everything. And that really sealed off all the light. So. We have the LED now on the one end with the positive and negative and the LDR on the other side with uh, both uh, the legs at the same length. Now let's construct a circuit where we can give this a go and really test it out. To properly measure out the optocoupler that we did, I currently have it co connected to the meter where I also connected the LED to a 5 volt power supply. So now 
I have it measuring when the LED is off. So we can see that it goes above two mega ohms. And when I connect the LED, it goes to an immediate short. So we can definitely use this in a circuit and we can turn on a relay with that. So let's do that. Here is the circuit. I have 12 volts coming in from my bench power supply that goes to VCC on the relay and through a 4.7 K resistor, it goes to one end of the uh, LDR on the on our DIY optocoupler and then the other end goes to ground which is also connected to ground on the relay. The input pin on the relay is placed in between the LDR and the 4.7 K resistor so the 4.7 res K resistor keeps it high when the resistance of the LDR is uh, high. Uh, so and once we turn on the LED the idea is that the we will then bridge that signal to ground because we don't have any resistor there and the, the relay should turn on. So on this side is the LED and I'm going to be powering the LED separately from my uh, DIY power bank. Link to video for it up here. Uh, let's now turn on the bench power supply. You can see that we have 12 volts coming in, but the relay is not on. As soon as I touch the LED here, the re resistor leg, the relay should turn on. So let's see if that happens. And it does. To make the LED as bright as possible, I'm using a 100 ohm resistor on 5 volts. So that should equal to about uh, 20 milliamps for the LED, which should be at its maximum brightness. And this turns on the relay as expected. So with that, I hope that you thought this project is interesting. Let me know if you would ever use a component like this, or if you ever had to improvise on any of your project. I think that for situations where we're doing something uh, on the go and we don't have a specific um, like PCB or a specific components that we want to use. This is a good way to get an opto isolator when we don't have one. And it's again, the same thing with the hacker mentality where you need to improvise with what you got. So be sure to subscribe if this is something that you thought is interesting and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.